What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Drop the Gamer Dude here. Welcome to you back to some more Danganronpa 2, Goodbye Despair. Last episode, we met a good grip of the characters. We definitely met my hottie, but we all knew that was going to happen. It's this game. Like, it's fine. Um, you know, I feel like we definitely have a stronger hottie, quite literally and figuratively, than last time. So, we didn't really have a hottie last time. We just kind of, like, I mean, oh, what? I have multiple places to go. Anyways. We're talking about Leon, okay? And Leon died immediately, and so it's fine, you know? It was unfortunate. If I give you guys spoilers to DR1, it's your fault for watching DR2, okay? I'm sorry, but it's, <laughs> it's how it works. Why are you watching the second game if you haven't watched the first? Simply put. Anyways, um, <laughs> let's go to the restaurant. Who? Oh. Are we really going to go with obese man in a restaurant trope? Really? <laughs> Is this really what we're doing? No, please. I dropped my controller. Good job, Meme. So this is a hotel restaurant. Okay, what is in here? Amazing. It's enormous. We could easily hold a banquet here. Kind of has a tropical open country feeling. Open? Even though we're stuck on this island. Are we really stuck here, though? What else could it be? Sorry. Oh, well. Let's finish introducing ourselves first. Look at those two people over there. No, we're not going to do it. Cool. I am actually pretty proud of this game for not doing that. That's right. I'm having a hard time because I'm full of poison. Because it's full of poison and it really sucks. Speaking of which, it'd be great if you could use your mouth to suck it out. Poison. I see. Hey, do you guys have a moment? Whoa. Denied. Denied. Good day. Hello. It is nice to meet you. Hello. My name is Hayame Hinata. Nice to meet you. Hello there. Well, hello there. You must be the new guy. My name is Teru Teru Hanamura. On the streets, I'm known as the ultimate cook. Okay. I kind of figured that Teru Teru was going to be the ultimate cook because of the outfit. I figured we'd have a chef. Um, which, honestly, I'm down with a chef. If you need to be a... Just call me the ultimate chef instead. It has more of a big city flavor to it, you know? I can be your sous chef. I want help. I need to learn how to cook better anyways, so this would be good. <laughs> I hope we get along well. I am sorry. Oh, that reminds me. I haven't properly introduced myself either. I'm, I'm terribly sorry for keeping you waiting. Sonia, never mind. Sonia, never mind. Interesting name. We're here for it, though. What are you? The ultimate princess. Oh, my God. I am a foreign exchange student from a small European kingdom called Novoselic. I may cause trouble here and there, but I hope we can get along. S same here. I hope we can get along, too. White porcelain skin, sparkling blue eyes, and her hair glitters like fields of wheat. It's like she has a mysterious charm that I want to gaze at her forever for. <laughs> Are you enchanted? Well, that's probably can't be helped. She's known as the ultimate princess, which means she's actual royalty. The ultimate princess. Normally I'd be surprised to hear that, but it's not just her beauty. She's just so graceful, and I'm completely at ease, even though she's a real princess. Um, um this may be rude to say, but truthfully, I feel happy. Why is what 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 how rude is what what about that is rude? I'm curious. Huh? What are you happy about? Hi. In my home country, I do not have a single friend who's age who uh, my age whose standing in society matched my own so to be able to do something like this with everyone is a new experience for me i shall exitol your future virtues exitol my virtues the, the thanks what the i suddenly urge to drop or f suddenly feel the urge to drop to one knee and bow that's not who you're kneeing and bowing for okay no, no we're not kneeing and bowing for her we have another man. We have a man that we have to do that for. Hey, you three. I'm being left off the menu for something. No, that's not it. <laughs> oh, Teru Teru. It's so like you to check on the restaurant first. As an ultimate chef, you do like it. <laughs> hmm. I would be lying if I said I wasn't interested. And since I do want to be a liar, then... Or since I do, do not want to be a liar, then truthfully... Yeah, I like it. Though... 
I like the big city flavor of my hometown, a country atmosphere. Like this is so splendid. Hmm. Hey, are you refined, cultured, guilty as charged? No, not that. You don't seem worried, huh? Worried? What is there to be worried about? Actually, I'm really happy. Happy? Why is that? If I can get serious real quick, I have a sneaking suspicion that Miss Pekka is actually a bit of a freak. If you can catch my meaning. Oh my god, we are talking about this. You know what? You just had to deal with my Nekumaru situation of me talking about, like, looking at his bulge and, like, you know, it's fine. I acknowledge it! As much as I don't want to acknowledge it, I acknowledge it! So I guess we have to talk about this dude's fantasies, too. I get it. It's fine. It's whatever. What do you think? What? Bonjour. She's probably wearing a black thong, too. What are your thoughts about that? Oh, got the nosebleed, too. Now then, shall we discuss this somewhere privately? Come on, come on, come on. No thanks. Well, putting that aside for now, this might also seem unexpected to you, but I feel like Miss Sonia over there has a good chance of putting out. Why are we talking about this? I let you talk about one. Because I talked about one. But we're not talking about multiple. Teru Teru. It's a one for one trade. And I don't have a second potty right now. Nor do I think I will be, because I'm a mono... Mon... whatever... Not... the opposite of polyamorous. Monogamous. I'm a monogamous person, okay? Like, so... it's fine. You see, everybody knows that princesses are groomed to lack common sense, right? For example, you I could tell her my loins are full of poison and ask her to suck it out. <laughs> I was not ready. I was not ready. I was not ready. I was not ready for this in-depth conversation. Okay. Is that why he was talking about the poison earlier? Pardon me. What are you talking about? Sonia, I need to protect you from this crazed man. Okay. I say that like I didn't go head over heels for ne Nekamaru, but you, there you know, Sonia. I, I really think it is in our best interest to hang out together so I can protect you, considering that, you know, I don't like you that way. It's fine. <laughs> we'll discuss this later. I'd better not see you try that again. <laughs> Nagito, it's fine! You know that you've seen my interaction with Nekamaru. It's okay! You know I'm not actually going to participate in that kind of conversation unless it's about Nekamaru. But you know, it's fine! Anyways, when I fantasize about this stuff like that, I can't help but look forward to living on this island. When it comes to cooking and love, passion is the most important ingredient. This guy seems dangerous, but for a completely different reason. Oh no, really? Ugh... Ah. Anyways. Moving on. Where's where's the... There's another person I've been wanting to talk to. Can I move up the steps? No, I cannot. We just came from the hotel restaurant. Hi, Nekmaru. I would love to talk to you, but I can't really right now. Unfortunately... Okay, map. Map should enlighten me on... See, I don't... Oh, okay, so I have to exit. I'm confused. Where's Biakia? Where's Biakia's son? Is a better question. Bye, Nekamaru. I'll see you later. At least I hope. I swear to God, don't die first on me. You know how peeved I'll be if you do that? So is the central bridge like our gate between multiple islands? Hajime. If we look across the bridge, we can see we can reach another island. It's not far from here. Is it safe? 
That's what we're going to find out, right? If it's not safe, where, when we get there, then what will you do? The Central Island. Jabberwock Park. That sounds like a cool place to go. Maybe our um, person we're looking for enjoys nature and parks and is sitting at the park. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Okay. So this is a park. This is. This, a park surrounded by ocean. Hmm, it feels so nice. Such a laid back attitude. But if we aren't in a situation like this, I'd probably be enjoying some lazy sunbathing myself. If being the key word. How are your introductions going? I'd like to inform you about another feature. Probably something you already saw. You already noticed there's a level side to it. Nope, okay, I didn't see it, but I don't know what it's for. It's displayed on the top right corner of your screen. If your level is increased by informing various actions, such as walking, examining, talking to each other, every time you level up, you'll, be get, you'll become stronger than you were before. The number of skills you can equip will also increase, so please try your hardest to level up often. What do you want? This guy's presence is overwhelming. He doesn't seem very approachable. Even his body is overwhelming. Ah, Biaki. What? 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 Have time for a small introduction. Why are we saying Biakia? Hmm. Introduction. Come on, Hayame. Hmm. Hello. My name is Hayame Hinata. What? How am I supposed to? What? What light am I supposed to take you in now? Oh, that changes the. You're. Are you? Are you a second by chance? Like Biakia took on me the second because like, okay, I could believe that. But then again, I did. I I can't even. I can't even lie. I literally said that that sounds like the same voice actor. So that's pretty interesting. Like I literally said it. So if it is the same person. It's not like I'm, like, picking like from the, like lowest hanging fruit. It's literally because I figured out like this or like it sounded like the same voice actor. He's gotta be the second. He can't. It can't be the actual Biakio. But if it is, what happened? Like, what caused this metamorphosis? I'm done. That's it. Right? Back off. I can tell this guy's is a is trembling his nose at me. Well, I suppose that is Biakia for ya. What do you mean? Actually, this guy is particularly special, even by ultimate standards. He's next in line to inherit his family's massive financial conglomerate. Right. Did Biakia the first build it back up? I'm sorry, I don't believe this is actually Biakia. This has to be Biakia's son. There is no shot. There is, because, like, this is a whole new set of kids. Well, kids. I say kids, but we literally, I've already determined Nekamaru is older than a kid. But, you know, besides the point, I might be thinking about that in a different light. But still, there's there's no way that's the actual Biakia, right? Why would he put himself in there the second time? Like, I can see him putting his kid in there. I don't know. This just seems interesting. Okay. He's already begun managing a, the business operations, and his net worth is, well, enormous. It's completely accurate to call him the ultimate affluent prodigy. He's the epitome of exceptional. Until I explicitly get a, he's been in these games before. Or until it's until it's been explicitly said that it is actually the Biakio that I'm thinking of. It is a completely different person. I am sorry. It might trigger some people. But I am not making any assumptions until I know for sure. Well, I say that as I'm making assumptions that it's Biakia's kid, not actually Biakia. 
I don't care. It is not it's not season one Biakia until it's season one Biakia. I know game shows will do that where they'll bring in a competitor that was in there before. But that'd be too blatantly obvious. Okay, moving on. That's like a MAGA origin story. You there. Hayame, was it? Huh. You tell me. Why did you why did, did Hope Peak Academy choose you? What is your ultimate talent? Um, thing is, I honestly can't remember. You don't remember? Apparently he lost his memory due to shock. He can't even remember much. Hmm, how foolish. Now, if we get a- that reminds me of a certain someone? Um, I do believe we have finished talking. How much longer do you intend to stand here? Move along. The only thing you skinny types are good at- it, That's the only thing you skinny types are good at, it seems- Let's just leave, Hayame. Yeah, sure thing. His build and that overwhelming aura of refinement just pr pushes people away. Is that what he means by the ultimate affluent prodigy? There's the sound I'm waiting to hear. Okay. That's a familiar sound to me. Is that the school bell just now? Hayame, look at the monitor over there. It's so suspicious. <laughs> what to do? She said to meet at the beach. Is that going to be okay? I'm starving and I had a bad feeling about this. Thinking won't solve anything. Ugh, you're the pessimist. You're supposed to... Ah, I don't trust you. Anyway, we can do that after we go to the beach. Is that precaution really enough? To be honest, I am really worried... It would look bad if I was the only one who didn't go. Yes, it would look bad if you're the only one that didn't go. I mean, in this situation, I would still go anyways. Oh, I could have gone, really? I could have gone the other way and been faster. Oh, no, maybe this is my entrance to the other islands. Sorry, I'm running from my experience. Because I want to get to level up fast. Mm. You guys are the last to revive. What are you dilly dying for? <laughs> Sorry to keep you all waiting. That's fine. Well, it's alright. More importantly, this is our chance to talk between ourselves before the rabbit returns. <laughs> Let's talk. Now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. I happen to notice numerous blocked off bridges on the central island. Oh, oh those are there so everybody didn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them and the rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm telling the truth. What? So we didn't get lost. This island really, is, is this island really so big? <laughs> but if you look at it in depth, it's just... A normal island, right? It's like a resort and everything. Well, not that I ever have been to a resort before, but... Hey, hey. Also, there's a big ranch! Um, there's also a large super supermarket, too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. Hmm. The hotel was really nice, too. It'd be great if we can stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel is also very nice. It seemed to cater to the more plebeian taste... It did seem to cater to a more plebeian taste. Hey. Can you guys listen to what I want to say, too? I found something very important on this island. Girls! Very, very, very cute girls all over the place! Grossa! I'm getting goosebumps. All of you are fools. I can't believe nobody has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Not possible. No one here has realized it? You're all bigger fools than I thought. Huh? What did you say? Don't be talking all big and let and don't be talking all big and shit. Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. The most serious truth 
What does he mean? Biakia, you need to explain yourself. <sighs> hey, what's this most serious truth you speak of? D did you find out something about this island? Hmm. Have you all gone to the park across that bridge? The park where the weird bronze statue and all of the creepy animals, right? When I saw it, I remembered a story I heard before. There's an island on the Pacific Ocean. A beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. Hawaii! It's also said that five holy animals symbolize each of the surrounding islands. Huh? That island's name is Jabberwock Island. Could this island be Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Still, there is something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... Hmm. Never mind. Hold, on. Hold it right there. That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. No need to shout. All I know is once I obtain more... I, I will let you know once I obtain more information. Uh. Meh, I don't care what this island's called. Uh... Nico Nico Island or Pupa or Pupa Island or whatever doesn't change the fact that I've, we're all gonna live here, right? Yeah. Living together on this tropical island sure is exciting. I'm super looking forward to it. Right on. This ain't a bad school at all. Hey, you guys. I like it. Hmm, I like this island too. Can't say the same about the rest of you Cretans. Mm -hmm. Huh? Did I hear something? I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. Yeah, since there's no danger or inconvenience, I feel like this won't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying. We need to stay calm and think about this. We're all here to attend Hope Peak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. Why do you keep talking? Or why don't you stop talking for a while? Go on, cool your head off or something. Huh? But plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. There's no ship, and the planes are just for show. It appears. From what I discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. Um. Then why don't we just swim home? It's there's no way we can swim that far. Show some spirit. What? Are you stupid? I'm telling you, that's impossible! But then... What if we cut down some trees and made the, a raft? I won't let you. Nah, uh, uh You can't do that. That's the biggest of no-no's. Please recall the guidelines of the school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature in mutual prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. But well, what is with these rules? Who cares about that? Stop. The rabbit seems rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? The, the word danger is a bit much. I wouldn't do something like that. Hajime. Hajime, I understand how you feel, but you really need to calm down a little, okay? Nagito, no. I don't need to calm down. I have a reason for my suspicions. As long as we do, don't do anything weird, it seems there's no danger. As long as we gather the Hope Fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You all are going to believe that? There's no other choice but to believe. For now, that is. Hey, hey! Anyway, Asami, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Love. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, of course I didn't forget it. Love, love. Love, love. This is it. Don't be upset. I prepared one for you all, so don't worry. What is this? <laughs> it's an Umi strap! If you squeeze the tummy, it talks! Isn't it cute? Love, love! What a waste of time. Aww. Man, and I got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up. Really? I think it's pretty cute, especially how it, the ears look like the ra rabbits. Well, Asami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless of a large number of Usami stamps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, 
or uh, a large number of stamps, uh, a large number of Usami stamps ended on the, f whatever. Anyway, as I figured, after everybody received their strap, they just tossed them on the beach. Hey, you can't taint nature with trash. See, even you think they're trash. Asami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. Poor Usami. Huh. And I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. Um, you have something else? Um... Well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I prepared a motive for everyone. A motive? Motive! Hey. That's right. A motive for everyone to get along. That's definitely not what it's for. We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island themed. <laughs> like what? What are you thinking? Like throwing a big party or something? <laughs> Correct! Wow. It's at a festival? Like a miniature shrine? How wonderful! Excuse me, Miss Sonia. My loins are still full of that poison, and I would appreciate if you could suck it out with your mouth. Uh, Wait. Knock it off, Teru Teru. I know, right? He's he he's the Hufumi. I, I wanted him to be better than that. I and I even dared to say that I could be his shoe sous chef. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. Sorry, Teru Teru. Not anymore. Oh, your tenderloins. You betcha. That makes it worse, Sonia. Just ignore him, Sonia. We're talking about fun parties on a tropical island. Maybe we should be a. It should be like a barbecue or something. I'm with you. Ah, uh, campfire sounds fun too. Let's find a hoop snake and kill it. You serious? Is looking for one and not enough for you? It seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first. Ta-da! This is what it's all about. This is a swimming bag. Correct, love, love. Whoa. Whoa, then that means... That's right, I have swimsuits for everyone! Well, school swimsuits, actually. So I hope that's okay. Please make Neku Maru's a little bit smaller than it's supposed to be. Like, that's... We can... We, we can... We can work out a deal, Asami, right? We can work out that deal. I, I'm okay with working out that deal. What do I need to do that? What, what, what do I need for to have that happen? Just, just let me know. I'll, I'll be here for it. Are you telling us to go swimming in a situation like this? It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just if you want to swim, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone told would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in this situation. Uh -huh. That's right. Ah, uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather this nice, there's no way I'm going to pass on swimming. I agree. Ah. Uh -huh. No, Sonia, 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 Sonia. I really need to be your bodyguard. Wait. Seriously, don't, don't, don't try and understand, Sonia. How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? All right, let's go change. Those of us who were excited to go swimming went to get their swimsuits from Asami and ran straight to the hotel to change. What are you going to do, Hayame? Oh, we're not going to get a choice, are we? I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up to it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After you said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. There's nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? Hmm. Oh, of course my boy's not here. Chiaki, I need to talk to you. You're not going to swim? Hmm, I am like really, really sleepy right now. I see, it'd be a problem if you fell asleep while you were swimming. I'd probably drown. More like definitely drown, but... But to be sleepy in a situation like this, I'm sure she's got, she's sure got some bold nerves. You're not going to swim, Byakuya? Of course not. However... I don't think that makes us friends or anything. Our reasons couldn't be more different. Different reasons? You cannot accept our situation because you're nothing but a coward, right? C coward? That Usami is not lying to us. You're starting to realize that, are you? But then, why aren't you going to swim? 
I simply don't like ocean water. It's too salty. That's not something to boast about. Little kids say the same thing when they don't want to swim. It looks like you're saying too. That's unexpected. She's seems like a more active type. You're not going to swim? Huh? Huh? Of course I am. Why? Then why didn't you go with the others to change? So annoying. I don't need to change. All I got to do is take off my clothes and skinny dip. No. What about your swimsuit? There's no way I'm going to wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. She's just wrong about so many things. Right. So let's hurry and swim. With those words, Akane quickly began taking off her... Whoa, hey! I Hey there, shameful behavior like that is a no-no. If you're going to swim, you gotta wear a swimsuit. So annoying. <sighs> what a pain. Phew phew. <laughs> I guess I I guess I can't have somebody in a smaller swimsuit because that would also be a no-no, but it's fine. Uh speaking of which, has everyone returned? Sami said that and I turned around and I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. I got what I wanted. I that's I I I got what I wanted. Cool. Thank you, Asami. Thank you. I appreciate you. This is totally fine. I will sit and watch. I don't need to go in the water or anything. Like it's it's fine. I'll sit and watch unless I get dragged into the water. Which I mean, if you really want me in the water, you can do that. But it's fine. Got some suntan lotion from the supermarket. Would anyone like a rub down? No. Oh, you're quite considerate. Now then, will you apply it right away? Nope, I'm taking that out of your hands, Terra Teru. That is getting out of your hands right now. This is my opportunity to shine. Rubbing lotion on a muscular man. No, Terra Teru. Terra Teru. Terra Teru. No, give that to me. No! It's he's mine, Territorio. I am territorial, and I will beat your mother loving. You know what? He's mine. Nobody else's. Like That's why it's my turn. <laughs> it's my turn to spin. I'll make sure to slather you with lots and lots of oil. Tertero! Oh. Yes, you can kill Terra Teru. But no, but if you kill Terra Teru, that means that you're dead too. No, you can't. You, you got to deal with it. Just deal with it. I wish I could intervene, but just deal with it so you can stay alive and you have the better man right here. It's okay. It's, it's fine. I outperform Terra Teru in all aspects. And you have somebody with the same height and that weighs a little bit less than you. It's okay. It's it's perfect. Actually, I'm a little bit taller, but it's even better. More to work with. <coughs> it feels like a resort. No other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun. I I. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other. I'm so... I'm very, very happy. I thought this wouldn't be hard until everyone got used to this. But you're acting... They are all acting like ultimates. Ding, ding, ding. Let's keep this pace, and I'll do the best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. I know, you're making my heart throb too much, Usami. What's this feeling of annihilation? Or, what's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really wrong about this? Fine. I just gotta do it right. Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it. Huh? Hi, Ame. Did something happen? Hand me over one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I cannot believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. I am seriously gonna enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, you guys! Hey, don't forget about me! Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? 
What is this? What is happening? These strange clouds. This doesn't look natural at all. Um. Hey, what's going on? What did you do? This obviously is not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. Whoa. What is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all of this? There's no way. Something like this shouldn't be happening. At that exact moment. Just when it seemed this couldn't get any more confusing, it suddenly happened. Monokuma! Yes, here he is! This is who I've been waiting for! Ha, buckaroo! Uh, 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 can you hear me? Can you hear me? That voice was so laid back and so gleeful, and it seemed out of place. But it Definitely was different than Usami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind the laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised. Right? <clears throat> sorry, Wadakuma, I was waiting for you. Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park! <laughs> this voice! If this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something! It's all up to me! Hey, wait! It seems that was an unusual occurrence. It's best if we go to Jabberwock Park, was it? Let's hurry. But what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. There's no time to waste. Or no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. What the hell's going on? I'd be really pissed if it's something stupid. What is this? What the hell is going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? Can I, like... No, I can't see them. Uh, Nekamaru, come with me, please. I don't care that you are in... Here, swimming attire. I prefer it that way, but I need a strong person to come over and console me. As we arrived at Java Rock par Park, Asami's shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. I won't let you. Well, where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. Where are you? Show yourself! Aw, oh, they got changed. I mean, it makes sense. But still, aw. Can't give me the pleasures, Monokuma. Thank you all for waiting. Long time no see, guys. I am Monokuma. I'm the headmaster of this academy. Monokuma! Um, now that I've made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is, this is so friggin' lame. Lame, I say. Lamer than the lamest lame sauce. Oh, wait. Lame sauce? Isn't that tasty? Hey, hey. Just as I thought, it was you. But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence. Ah, shut up. Hey, I am livid, you know. And I am about ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude. What's with this heart-throbbing school trick, anyway? I am bored, so hopelessly bored. This is just ain't fun at all, and you better knock it off in this farce right now. I knew it was a farce. I knew something was up. What are you thinking? You gotta make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives, you know. What everyone wants to see is other people's misery and despair. What the heck is this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any sense. What? But what is going on? What is that thing? I won't let you. Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokuma's here, but as long as I have my magic stick. Yeah, yeah opening! Oh! 
Monokuma broke her magic stick. Now I can't get what I want. First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image. <laughs> this is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya, I'll bite ya, I'll rip you apart. <laughs> Stop it! Hey, hold still. This wooden stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? Oh my gosh. No! That's a no no! That's a big no no! Ta da! All done! What? What is this? No! I'm not supposed to look weird like this. Change me back to normal! My, my, defying your big brother's fashion sense is Manomi, a little troublemaker. <clears throat> hey. Big brother, Manomi, my your, <laughs> your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm sending you to be my li little sister, Manomi. <laughs> Though, it's only an external setting after all. Hey. But why don't you leave? Why do I have to be your little sister? Oh, big sister, then. You want to be an older sister that gets separated at birth? Hmm, this. that doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more of a little sister. So, that's how it's going to be, Manomi. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. Uh, how? Even the display changed to Manomi. Hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. How about that? Now you've learned your lesson. What is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other? That's like completely insane. Uh, if only I had my magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. <laughs> uh, it's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even a little, even a little second opening is a life threatening on the battlefield. Hey, hey. Hey, what's with that stupid performance? Huh? Who friggin' knows? Uh, it's obvious something bad is happening. Huh? What? What is going on? Uh, huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me, you know? How insensitive. The? There's more of them? What, did you say? what does this mean? What is that black and white Tanuki? I am not a Tanuki. I am a bear. I'm Monokuma. What's going on? I do not understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared? I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Seriously, I am not a stuffed animal. I am Monokuma, the headmaster of Hope Peaks Academy. Monokuma? Did you just say headmaster? Anyway. Regardless, it appears that everyone has gathered. So now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. From this point on, the killing school trip will commence. Killing school trip. A school trip where everyone gets along, has no stimulation at all, and it is so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that now, do we? You guys agree with me, right? So, let our killing school trip begin! Naturally, you guys are going to be the contestants! Killing contestants? But what are you saying? I will absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. Jeez, Monokuma's all out, like murking Monomi at any step she takes. Okay, Monokuma. Jeez, your brain sure is tiny, Monomi. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time. Except in manga, a little sister is never smarter than her big brother. Now then, we got a little off topic, so let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. 
Well, what do you mean, killing school trip? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious? You guys are going to kill each other. No. Kill each other. I see. Are you kidding me? Kill each other? No way, no way, no way. But what are you saying? That's impossible. No. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules a little bit. If you want to get off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then make it through the class trial without getting caught. Class trial. That's right. This class trial is a real charm for of this killing school trip. Allow me to explain. One of your friends gets murdered. The surviving members must participate in a class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll present your arguments about who you think the blackened may be. An outcome is decided by popular vote, and if you arrive to the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with the murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words, Which means, if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you'll get to live and leave this island. However, if you are found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> <sighs> It's familiar, but simple rule, right? You keep repeating the word punish over and over. What is the deal with that? Mm. Basically, it's an execution. An execution. The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thigamajig claw. That was a reference to Alter Ego, wasn't it? Hmm. Ahem. Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. To shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crashing, cursing. Please choose whichever method of killing you prefer. No time limit, but you can kill as you please. So you can kill as you please. It is an all-you-can murder buffet, a theme park of murder. That is what this killing school trip is all about. I clutched my chest without realizing it. With each beat, a sharp, stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Don't screw with me. That's right. Who on earth would kill someone? No I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill is something entirely up to you. No, no. But be careful. Don't. Youth doesn't last forever. It is too late if you guys. If you wait. It'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I, won't believe. I, won't believe. I, I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. Well, what? If nobody ever gonna get, gets murdered, does that mean we'll be never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway, I'd like for you to all go through this with this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Well, wait just a minute. Why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, isn't it obvious? There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Huh? Hold on. Hold on. You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I don't want to get violent, but if I do I have no idea what might happen. I'm do it. I want to fight. Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it with any force necessary. Why, you? If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are going to lose their patience. Ah, uh, is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. If you guys want to do things by force, then you'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Force? What are you going to do? Surge. O oh gods who dwell in the light and darkness, in accordance with our contract, I summon thee now! Oh, oh boy. I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island. 
but still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Ah! Uh, why did the statue move? Wrong. That's no statue. They're mono beasts. M -m -m monster. Hey. No, I just said they're mono beasts. The strange thing about the genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. A sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games, and that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel the fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No, no, no. no. This can't be. This is just too weird. Don't tell me Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> A nightmare, he says. He just admitted to have admitted his brain is totally a flower patch. Uh, geez, you guys are a skeptical bunch. If there's something doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid! Ignorant cavemen are better than all of you. Classifying events in accordance of their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone, please step back. I will protect everyone. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone. Herc. Huh. What's this? Blurk. Ah, uh, I know. This is nausea. Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Alrighty then, it is excited. You'll be my you'll be my example to everyone. A poor monomy. <gasps> wow. What? 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 What is that? It's only the first stage, and Mahanomi already died. Is that demon, or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? Mono beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction. All of a sudden, the appearance of a monster. Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We had never experienced anything like this before and had no idea how to deal with it. That reality was lethal at this particular moment. Hmm, that's right. This is what I wanted. The feeling of despair. Giving an example was totally the right call. <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten the to breathe. We just stood there horrified. We were powerless. No different than ants that washed away in a storm. Well, now. now then, I believe I've made my point. You, yeah, yep, yeah, that not a line I would ever try on Monokuma. That's so true. Hmm. And also, in addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. There are rules for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true in any society, really. Now then, enjoy the remainder of this liberating harsh school trip. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his mono beast vanished before your, our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone looked the same. And we'll figure out why they look the same in the next episode. I swear we're probably like two minutes away, but we're already at an almost hour long episode. So! We probably shouldn't carry on, even though I'm going to, obviously, but 
we will see you guys in the next episode when we carry on. Monokuma being here is Usami actually dead? Probably, you know, it's Monokuma. But the fact that they killed their mascot of the second game, in quotation marks, just feels interesting. Maybe he's going to rebuild her or something? I don't know. Anyways, we will figure it out in the next episode. <laughs> Love y'all. Bye!